Hey there. I have to apologize first off that my my uh my camera's like because my universal tripod, which is not universal, is for some reason giving me some crap today. Okay, so I know I told y'all that I would do a second part of the Isis, uh, walking through the house of Isis, Votary video, and I do intend to do that. I just had some things I'd do this weekend that were non-spiritual, so I will get on that this week. Right now I'm doing a tag video, my first one, whoop, 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 whoop. and uh, it's from Raven Night Song, and I'll put a link to her video, her tag video below. And it's 29 questions, basically getting to know you, so here we go. What's your real name? not going to say what my real name is. I go by Angel and that's what I'm going to go by. Number two, what are your hobbies? Love crafts. Love to make stuff. Love to know how to or figure it out and learn and everything. Uh, I Right now I'm making a lot of craft-ish stuff for my wedding. It is a Mad Hatter Tea Party theme. I'm asking all my guests to wear hats and I've made many top hats for my bridesmaids. If you can see, if I, well, it's gonna sit like this. Let me see if I can. It's gonna sit like this. These are the colors. And uh, so I make stuff like this. I make all kinds of stuff. And actually, I learned how to make this on from YouTube. So I'm gonna put a link below to the YouTube channel and video that I learned this from. In case y'all want to make it, it's super easy and really cute. So I do this kind of stuff. I do quilting, reading, scrapbooking, writing, uh, yeah, so I do a lot of that stuff. What started you on YouTube? Well, back in 2007, I had a job that consumed all of my time and I didn't have really any time to get to know people, physically go out and that sort of thing. I was pretty exhausted, so I actually went on to online games where you could go be a um, avatar and go in these worlds and there was one that I actually had a page a lot like Facebook kind of page and somebody posted a video of a metal band that I like on there and it said YouTube on it never had heard of YouTube so I went over there and checked them out and I was been there ever since Give a tip to another YouTube user. I don't necessarily think this is just a tip for a YouTube user. I think it's just in general. Always be your authentic self. Always. Good, bad, or different. No matter what. It's better to be loved for who you are than liked for who you're not. And you're trying to pretend to be. Just be yourself. You know? Life is too short to pretend to be somebody you're not. Just enjoy the ride as the person you are. That would be my advice. Favorite fruit. I am a berry person. I love raspberries. That's number one. Then like blackberries, poison berries, elderberries, berries, berries, berries. Second probably would be pineapple. Favorite food. Mexican food. I like Mexican food, but not uh, authentic Mexican food. Probably Mexicali kind of Mexican food. A little more Americanized. My favorite drink, coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. I'm a coffee freak. I pretty much only drink coffee and water. That's it. <laughs> Milk occasionally, orange juice sometimes, but pretty much coffee. Uh, when I lived in California, I drank just canned, the canned coffee, and I was cool with that. Didn't really know any different. Moved up to Washington State, which is sort of like a mecca for coffee. Uh, they've got Tully's, Pete's Coffee, uh, Seattle's Bex Best, and of course Starbucks. And so when I moved up there, I got introduced to coffee beaned, or beaned coffee, fresh coffee, like fresh brewed coffee, espresso, and I became a coffee snob. So now I'm very particular about my coffee. And uh, for instance, I, I love, right, it, at least at home in the morning, I love my chicory my coffee with chicory. If y'all don't know what that is, I, I drink a, a New Orleans blend uh, chicory coffee from Community Coffee. My mom got me hooked on it. Thanks mom. And uh, chicory, if y'all don't know, is like a, a root. 
tastes a lot like coffee and uh, during the depression they would cut coffee with chicory to you know la make it last longer so it's very robust and I mean like really strong and so that's what I drink in the morning but I'm very particular about my coffee so coffee would be my favorite ice cream or frozen yogurt and your favorite color or flavor color favor flavor yeah I would have to say I'm, I'm pretty indifferent when it comes to ice cream or frozen yogurt but my flavor has got to be red velvet cake oh yeah red velvet cake anything is awesome worst food and why I do not like to eat anything that's looked like it was when it was alive I don't want to see feet I don't want to see faces I'm actually becoming more and more towards being a pescatarian I think that's what they're called when they eat just fish fish eggs cheese and that kind of thing very you know organic free range no antibiotics all that kind of stuff but yeah I don't want to see what I don't, I don't want to eat something and what in the form it was when it was alive it's very disturbing to me do you have siblings yes I have two younger brothers I am the oldest unfortunately and a very much younger sister uh, what law would you change there's so many laws in this country that I would love to change so <laughs> so many uh, particularly any laws that relate to civil liberties and civil rights I would definitely ch change those absolutely change those laws because I think in my opinion they are very un-American they prohibit people's happiness and I'm not not cool with that so I would change those laws favorite store that's a toughie up here in New England, we have a thrift store called Savers, which is freaking fantastic. So, uh, I'd have to say that's like my number one store. It's really close to Bed Bath & Beyond, but I like Savers because it's an adventure. You go in there, it's like a treasure hunt. What did you want to be when you grew up? Okay, when I until I was about nine, I wanted to be a nun. Yeah, I don't know why. My biological father is Roman Catholic, or was, I don't know, I don't know if he still practices, but uh, he wasn't practicing then, so I don't really have, like, a deep exposure to Catholicism, so I have no idea why I wanted to be a nun. But pretty much from nine up, I wanted to be an archaeologist, and even went to college and studied to be that. So, archaeology. Favorite state. That's tough that is really tough because I've been a lot of places in the US and I'm, I'm specifically talking about the US because I don't know that they call places overseas states or not but anyways I'll just for you know simplify geographic you know reasons I will say the US it's hard for me because there's a lot of pros and cons to a lot of the states I've been to California hugely diverse it, it, it you know uh, the the people that live there and the place place it's all diverse. I mean, one hour this way you're in the snow and majestic mountains. One hour this way you're at the beach getting a tan. I mean that's freaking cool. Hugely overpriced. Sorry, California, you're not that awesome. You shouldn't cost that much. I'm just saying. Washington State, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful state. Awesome people. So diverse amazing landscape not a great job you know not not a lot of jobs at least wasn't in the field that I worked in so I'd have to say that's drawback and pretty expensive not not California expensive but pretty damn expensive Mississippi or you know Louisiana Mississippi Alabama and the panhandle of Florida amazing people amazing resilient people Great story, great history. Ah, way, way, way too narrow-minded people live down there. But beautiful, beautiful place. New England, so pretty. So, so full of history. Not the nicest people in the world. Sorry, you're not. Sorry. Don't stone me. So, in essence, I don't really have a favorite. 
I mean, maybe it should be the state I live in, but it's not. Uh, it's just uh, everything has a good and a bad, so I can't really pick a favorite. Sorry. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. What language do you speak? <laughs> English, and I struggle with that. But if I could learn to speak a language, it would probably be Polish, because my biological father is 100% Polish. I'm not very um, connected with that side of the family, and I would like to write to my family in Poland so I could, you know, learn some genealogy of my that side of my family favorite month and why october it's the beginning of fall and for me that feels like a very magical time so i would have to say october it's just a beautiful i feel very vibrant at that time for some reason birth month may my birthday is may 10th so i'm a may taurus and uh very much a taurus my favorite color, <laughs> green. I love green. It's my favorite color. How typical. No, I love it because it's abundance. It's health. It's growth. It's just a warm, cozy kind of color. I love it. It's, it's just uh, beautiful. And it's my birthstone. So that's a plus. What was your first, uh, your first YouTube video about? It was my intro video. Actually, I posted some videos like a couple years ago, but they were not really posting to them. I just kind of uploaded them through YouTube so I could put them on my Facebook page. And they were, one was of the, the Hofla, the last party I had it with my, uh, the belly dance studio I was at in Mississippi. And two were of the, Re the Renaissance Fair I went to. But the original one that I posted with my face and all that kind of fun stuff is my intro video to my channel. First YouTube channel name, Allure Allure. This is my first channel. I don't think I'm going to make another channel. I don't really have a reason why. Are you happy about the new YouTube layout? Honestly, no. I, I'm not happy about it, but I don't really care. On the, on, I mean, quite frankly, YouTube makes us all these changes all the time, and I really don't think they give a crap about what any of the users think that yeah, I just don't think they care because they just change it all the time I think they're trying to keep up with the Joneses if you will so um no I don't really care for it but I also don't really care enough to even worry about it if that makes sense I have other things to worry about I guess it's more important I need to bring this over here because I can't see the side for some reason um Favorite device? My laptop. Because it connects me to the world. I mean, I can go on Skype and see my mom, my brothers, my sister, uh, my friends, all over the world. I can go on there and learn stuff. I can see places that I never thought I would see. I can, I can, you know, do research. I can watch videos. I can learn how to make things. It's just awesome. Camera that I use is a Sony Bloggy. Nice camera, very limited, and I'm not really happy with it right now because of the whole web tricam or the tripod thingy. But that's besides the point. Are you an early or late sleeper? That really depends. I'm kind of all over the board. Uh, when I'm working, I like to be in bed by 8:30 and no later because I need a lot of sleep. <laughs> My job, generally, the industry I work in, is intense high pace and very mental base so I need a lot of sleep so I can be well rested because I'm dealing with a lot of money so I usually uh, go to bed early when I'm working when I'm not working it's about 11 11 30 and I usually wake up at the same time every day it doesn't matter when I go to bed first thing I do when I wake up well, the first thing I do when I wake up, I would say would be make coffee, but it's not anymore. My older cat, she takes supplements in the morning. She takes a joint and, and you know, bone thing, and then she takes a multivitamin. And she gets them every day in the morning, and she sits in the same spot waiting for me to get them. If I do anything else in that kitchen before that, she's hollering at me nonstop and it drives me crazy, especially if I need coffee. So, Belle gets her supplements before anything else is done. 
my occupation? Well, right now I'm looking for work, so I would say in general my occupation in the uh, mundane world is an admin, an administrative person. And uh, in the spiritual world, I would say that um, I read cards for my friends and I'm sort of a soundboard slash spiritual therapist. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word, but uh, people come to me with their, their, their issues and I help them work through them. I don't give them the answers because I don't know what they are, but I help them find them, if that makes sense. Okay, do you prefer headphones or earphones? I prefer headphones. I like those big late 70s, early 80s, big things that go over your ears. I don't like the things that go in my ears. They bother them. Uh, they're weird feeling. Every time I put one in my ear, it reminds me of this this video or, or this uh, story I, I watched about this girl who fell asleep and she got a June bug in her ear and it burrowed and it just creeps me out. It creeps me out. I like the big ones that go over your ears. It's like it covers everything and you just, I don't know, I like it that way. Favorite TV show? I don't really have a TV show. Oh yeah, I do actually. Big Bang Theory? Oh yeah. Love, love Big Bang Theory. My fiance is a super geek. He's an engineer and that is our show. We watch that together every, every week. So I would say Big Bang Theory. Favorite music? Oh, that's hard. I like a little bit of everything and a lot of a little bit, if that makes sense. Uh, for instance, my fiance is huge into rap music. He loves rap music. And it's kind of funny because you look at him and you wouldn't think he likes rap music, but he does. So, I don't really like rap music. But I do like some Nicki Minaj, some Eminem, some Tupac. So, I do like some of that. But I like some country, very little, little country. Yeah, but uh, I like a lot of metal music and not speed metal. I'm talking like European metal, like Nightwish, Lacana Coil, Eve's Eyes, Within Temptation, and I'm leaving out some others I know, but that kind of realm. I like Celtic music, like Enya, um, Patricia Price, uh, Lorena McKennant, that kind of vibe, and 80s music. And I'm talking 80s, like new wave 80s to hairband 80s so i like all that I'm, I'm an 80s kid so i like 80s music but i also listen to motown all the time i listen to 70s music you know i listen to the oldie station there's not a whole lot of new music that i care for uh there's not a whole lot of 90s music that i care for like like the whole 90s I'm not, like, it could have just been gone and I'd be okay with it. I don't know why. There's, like, nothing in the 90s, like, no sh no real, I don't know. It was weird. Not really any music that I liked. So, I'm going to go with metal, Celtic, and 80s. I can't split it. I can't make one decision. I love music. And, yeah, so that's it. All right, so, again, if you make videos or you don't make videos and you want to make a response, please reply below. I'd love to see your videos, get to know y'all. And uh, check out the links that I'm attaching to this video if you want to learn how to make these guys. And if you want to check out Raven Night Song's channel. All right, so thank you so much for watching. And until next time, blessed be. Bye.